A very good morning to you guys. Welcome to Asake Online. This is the Breakfast Club. My name is Bright Tungo. Today we are coming live uh, from what 9, uh, that's in Popoma, there to know more about the what and to know more about the councillor and help me to unpack and welcome uh, the councillor for what 9. Good morning to you, Councillor Johnson Maguto. Morning, my brother. How are you? I'm fine. Let's talk about your what. I know there was the process, your what changed boundaries. Let's talk more about your what. How far does your what stretch? Yeah, there have been quite a number of, of changes in terms of uh, ward boundaries. Uh, you'll find that uh, initially our ward was stretching from Machoban, Nokzim, uh, right up to Mpopo Mahai, stretches right up to West Kobe and this flyover. But now you'll find that a certain part of Machoban has been taken and given to ward 8, um, and now we've now been given Mabutweni or Square and part of, of Njube. And you, you will then note that um, now the word is bigger than what it was. And uh, I'm yet to find the, the, the population now with these new boundaries, because the initial population were around 27,400 when we were part of Machovan and Popoma alone. Has it been recalled many times, uh, come back and then being recalled elections by elections and so on. How does that affect your projects for this ward? What now I'm planning to do this for this ward, so I'm being recalled. How does that affect the scope and the plan for this ward? No, the, 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 that, that thing actually affected us a lot. You you note that uh, uh, this is uh, my fourth time in office, but in two terms. I got elected in 2018, 2020 you got recalled. Two years you are not in office, you then get re-elected again in 2022, and you've got only eight months before the next election. You get into office in August, August 23, 2023. You get recalled again within a, a month in office. Uh, 9 December, you are back in, in the But um, Despite those challenges of, of, of recalls, we have tried to, to do our best. Uh, I will note with concern that it affected residents in a, in a great way because some certain projects were left lagging behind. We had a clear uh, 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 programs which we had set for Ward 9 during the period of 2018 to 2023, right? And then 2023 going to 2028. 20, uh, but I must say that um, within that short space of time, we were able to achieve uh, certain milestones uh, in our ward. You will note that when Machoban was still part of us, uh, Machoban uh, had the problem of perennial sewers. I remember by then we invited the town clerk of the city, Abu Christopher Dube. Uh, the engineering director by then was Wabu Smela, who is late, may he so rest in peace, the deputy, who is now the Director of um, Water and Sanitation, as you are aware that the engineering department is split into two. There is now the Director of Works, Director of Water and Sanitation. So we, we, they saw it fit to, to rehabilitate Machovan Sewer. So new pipes were laid, uh, new manuals were put in there. And uh, what we noted by then is that despite the issue of vandalism of our infrastructure by residents, we noted that even our system was outdated in terms of uh, the, the, the size of the pipes. You will know that by then, Machoba was uh, reserved for people who were you know, single fathers by then. But the ballooning in population in that area and uh, faced with the, 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 the size of the pipes which we had. So this is why we had a continuous burst. But now the best have, uh, have, uh, have been minimized to lowest possible levels. It's here and there, but the situation has been arrested. You will see just here, you see this in Popoma. This is a farmer's. You see, this farmer's started uh, two years back uh, under the RBF, what we call result based funding. And uh, as you can see, this farmer's uh, air cones have been put, everything has been put. It's almost 95% uh, uh, complete way to be officially open. Just behind the pharmacy, there is a special toilet of people living with special needs, you, you see. We saw it fit to design that toilet uh, uh, to cater for those special group of people, to make sure that they are recognized in the society 
and they are well catered for. I know Popo Mabutuin and uh, Machoban is one of the oldest suburbs in Bulawayo with the old people, your 80s, your 70s and so on. When we came here before this interview, we had many people outside this office speaking about different issues. How do you deal with these things every day? You know, people have different issues, hunger, money, issues of, how do you deal with these issues as a councillor in Ward 9? Yeah, I must uh, first of all point out on uh, on certain things which I've picked from residents. You know, residents, they think that when they come to the office of the councillor, all your needs are well catered for, you see. And they are not aware or conscious that a councillor is operated with limited resources. There is no special allocation of money which is given to the office of the councillor to... But on humanitarian basis, as a person who grew up here and nurtured here, there are special group of people you will give special treatment. For example, Ukoko comes here. And you can see that genuinely this lady, you know, Edlina Gulaluto, there is no milli meal. There is a shop here owned by Mandlovu, just across here. A month I foot a bill of between 200 to 400 dollars. For these special groups, you see, we have got genuine problems. You come here and I, I see that genuinely show there is no milli meal there. There is no sugar there. You will, in particular, the senior citizen, because I'm very passionate with the senior citizen. This is a special group of people where you see that they need special care. Some of them, they no longer have children to look after them. So the only child they only have, they will think of coming to the, of the, of, of the councillor. You look also at um, child-headed families. There are quite many here, you see. Uh, my office normally assists, right from my pocket, uh, I, I assist because these are groups I feel that they need special care and special uh, attention. Then comes the other people, you, you know, at one point in time, two ladies walked, walked in here, they wanted money for pampas. <laughs> you see? So I, I had to ask a question, where, where are the fathers of, 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 of these kids? So you'll, you'll understand that these were girl children who got exposed uh, and the, those guys, they ran away after they made them pregnant, you see. So you, you, you assist after all, how much is a, is a pamper? Sometimes you buy a dollar for five, you give them, they go, it serves them for two, three days, and that is it. So you, that's when you then see a huge inflow of, of, of residents coming here because uh, they know that somehow, I may not be able to, 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 to please everyone at the same time, but they believe that somehow our problems can be, can be sorted out. Uh, one day I did a survey, you, you see, there were over 60 people here. So normally I interview these people outside to say, which group of people who have come specifically for service delivery issues? You will understand, you will know that there are only maybe five out of 60 something. The rest, they are crying of hunger, there is nothing at home, there is, you see. So what I have encouraged them now is that when we put them in these community groups, drain clearing, slashing, picking it, I encourage them to say, after getting that little from Kanto, try to open a small business, you see. Try to sell tomatoes, onions, sweets, cucumbers, and what, hundred dollars can go a long way for you if you, you, you start something. We have put it up and I've seen positive response coming to some of, uh, of the residents in that regard. So there are also other group of people. Uh, right now, I think I've got 14 vendors. These 14 vendors, uh, I assist them, they assist me. They come here, they bring their quota. This is what counselor I need. If I start business, we'll be making so much a day. So I fund that. At the end of the week, we share the, the, the profits, half, half. Uh, my target is that by end of year, I reach 100. Is I go, but right now I'm seated on, on 14 only. So this is uh, how we are affecting residents in the in in this uh, uh, economy where we, we have got over 80 percent unemployment. Uh, the economy is bad. Uh, things are not uh, uh, joining out there. But we are in the slangard, <laughs> you see. Yeah, but this office tries its level best to make sure that we assist the residents to the best of our ability. Besides service delivery issues, there are other, all those issues which trouble them as they... Mm -hmm. I know I'm speaking to a politician right now, so the answers are going to be lengthy. Let's try to be brief in terms of a response so that we can get into many questions. There's an issue of water now in Bulawayo. Yeah. Bulawayo is facing a, a water crisis. Mm -hmm. How is Wat9 coping with this water crisis? What's the short-term solution for water crisis in Wat9? 
Yeah, the short-term solution here, yeah, we, we have made positive strides of late because this is not the first time we have noted that Bulawayo is a water crisis city. And in Ward 9, I just want to appreciate this group of people. Just across them, Church of Letter Day Saints, we partner with the Church of Letter Day Saints. There is a city council ball there. So they came and said, Councillor, we can equip that ball and feed Gampu School and feed uh, the residents of Machobane and the residents of Congo. So they, they are Three taps which were installed this other side, three taps that, that other side, and the taps inside the, the school. They resuscitated that bowl, residents in that part of Mpopuma, they are drawing water from there. You come at Nkulumani Primary School. At one point, the school had come here with a bill of over two million. That was early last year, 2.6 million. You say, this is the bill which my school is faced with. And we thank God for the Board of Christ the Apostolic uh, Faith Church came here and said, Councillor, we want to drill balls to assist in Kulumani Primary School. Uh, because normally in December they camp there, so they drilled balls, they put Jojo tanks, they can now open water from their taps, and at the same time, residents are drawing water from there. You come to the church of Gutaramari Church, um, where in, in close contact with Uba of residents are drawing water, especially from that part of Mandeville Flats, Mashasha, from that church, and also Trek Garage. There was a good cooperation from the owners of Trek. You see, residents would, would go there and be assisted with, um, with what? Besides that, uh, Becker's Inn also came on board just across by Inyati Youth Centre here they put a state of art solar powered ball. Residents in this area, the central part of Mpopoma, are drawing water there. Now we are going to Mpopoma Hall. There is a huge ball there which is there, but residents at some point, some yesterday installed the armored cable. So we are still looking for partners who can partner us to put that armored cable. There is a Jojo tank if you look as you go outside, which is installed there. And we look forward to resuscitate that ball. And in Popoma South, we need to drill two balls. I've been in close contact with Church of Letter Day Saints. They are willing. They are only waiting for paperwork from our engineering service department. They can put two balls in Popoma South. So we feel that these are short-term measures to make sure that uh, in this 120-hour period, our residents can find a water source nearby to draw water and they will be assisted. It's a crisis which we are in, which we have even spoken uh, with the government to say, no, please may you declare water, Bulawa a water crisis city, so that you can open potential funders to come and assist us. Mm -hmm. Speaking of theft, of the, of the, of the item was stolen from a bowl, right? How are we dealing with the issue of theft in, in your community, in your what, nine, and in other areas, their neighborhood watches and so on? How are we dealing with this issue of theft in your heart? Actually, we have got 15 sectional heads here in Popoma. Uh, we have got areas, area one, area two, area three, area what or not. Uh, uh, my sectional heads, Allah was good. We had a meeting last year, uh, le uh, late last of last year, where the officer in charge, the home officer, the CRLO, community relations officer, we met. And we put neighbor uh, 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 teams in all these 15 sections. but. Uh, in some way, faced challenges whereby maybe residents uh, will be raising issues on Abantu And also, the other major setback has been the issue of incentive, whereby maybe um, some residents say, no, let's put two run, two run, to make sure that come month and we at least buy milli mill for these guys. You see. In some section, it is still working, but in some, it has collapsed because. Uh, uh, of no one would want to be awake the entire night at the end of the day, you, you, you don't what you don't get. And at the same time, from government side, uh, the, the, the police force on its own, in terms of resources, uh, uh, there is no allocation which is allocated to these, uh, to these people. But the crime rate had declined, because at one point in time, there was a cry on the western side of, of Bulawayo. It was coming from the office of the, of the dispo there, that no, Mpopoma has got a high crime rate, which then prompted us to activate these, uh, these, um, uh, these neighborhood watch committees. At some point, the crime deteriorated. I don't know the statistics now, because next Saturday at 12.30, 
who bet west come again meeting with the the, the 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 officers there i think we'll then get to know the the, the crime statistics in our area yeah. let's speak of meetings now i know you've been doing feedback meetings you're meeting up with the residents what are they saying about issues that are affecting them what are the key issues that are affecting them besides water what are the key issues that are affecting them? What is it's about nine yeah what i've noted is that some of the issues which are are, 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 are put forward by by residents and not normally within the jurisdiction of council. It's, those are government uh, issues where we need maybe members of parliament to, to lobby. But their cry has always been the same. Sewer, uh, water, refuse collection in the Bayama Bill. Those are topical issues, uh, especially in, in Mpopoma. But sewer so hotspots, we have minimized them. Minimized them, sewer so hotspots. You know, sometimes you can go for a month without any sewer pest especially on this other area, you see. We have minimized because we take time to educate residents. Some they raise to I swear to Buga Kanzi, and then we say, but Bagit has learned to any sewer yet. You teach them what uh, clogs our sewer, what causes sewer best, besides the issue of um, our infrastructure, which is now outdated. You see, you find the pamper, uh, is put various things inside there. At one point in time, we went to that um, sewer section by Kami there, which has got uh, pipes of this diameter, whereby the director was saying you would pick a TV, TV. you throw into the system, babies dumped into the system, you see. So there's a lot which contributes to the sewer pest, but we've tried our level best to make sure that uh, we have minimized this uh, sewer pest uh, in our area by educating our residents. Residents need to be educated. Residents need to be conscientized about it. Then water, we all know that. But we have put up these programs, which we feel uh, that at some point, residents will feel relieved. Then for them to spend the entire week, you have no water source which is close to you. So we have tried our best. Bills, you see, they are responding very well in terms of paying because we, we don't encourage our residents not to pay. Uh, the, the, their bills. Residents have to pay their bills. But at the same time, on our side as council, we have to give factual bills, which reflect uh, the, 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 the state on the ground. Like in this uh, water crisis situation which we have, maybe residents get water four times a month, and you'd find the bill doesn't change. So those are some of the issues which we are working on with council management to make sure that we, we arrested this, so that the residents get fair bills. You see, because one of the things which you have seen that he, which discourages residents from paying is when a resident re receives a ridiculous bill. It, it, it actually puts off the residents. So we want to be responsible, we want to be an efficient council, in particular in Ward 9. We, 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 we work hand in hand with our residents and we don't take lightly their problems. We always speak about their problems. We always engage council uh, management on their problems, especially on bills. Then there is a certain group also of residents who would cry that, hey, my bill is ballooning. But you check that resident hasn't been paying council for the past five years. What do you expect with the accumulation of interest and everything? You see. And also I applaud the system which council has brought on of of rebate to the senior citizens, you see. Where they come, they fill the forms. Just next to me is the social welfare offices. Social welfare officers are sent to, 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 to come and see to surely you are a senior citizen, this is how you live. Then there is a certain part of, um, of amount which is deducted because you are now a senior, a senior citizen. And also that policy also uh, takes care of other groups of people uh, in the what disadvantaged in the in the in the in the what not only in the what in the Bulawa, because our credit policy speaks on how these uh, people should be treated. You see, yeah. Let's look at the number of schools now that are found in your what. Are they enough in terms of schools for school children? How many schools are there in in your what? And right. Are they enough? Yeah, they, they, they are not enough, especially secondary schools. In terms of primary schools, I'm not complaining. We've got Gampu there just across. We've got Lukanyiso. We've got Mpumelelo. We've got Nkulumane Primary School. But we've got only two major high schools, Mpopuma High and Nusitel. I remember last year, uh, thanks to the good work and uh, uh, the Mr. Mr. Vunda, who is heading Nusitel High School, he had to create a class in additional class, said, Councillor, there is nothing I can do. 
Because this is a man who is working with the, with the community, who is very conscious of the problems the community are facing with the shortage of high schools in our area. He was forced to create an additional class. And one day he took me through a tour and said, check my class has got over, each class for one has got over 45 students, some 50 something. You see, so we have got a huge shortage of, 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 of high school. At least if we get an additional one high school, it will, it will help us. But in terms of primary schools, I, I think we are okay. Because look now, you have got two high schools. Children from Sukamini, it's across, I know it's in, um, it serves part of Mabutwe now and part of Njube. You have got Nkuluman, Kampu, Lukanyiso, Mpumel. And these schools, they've got a, a, a enrollment of over 1.4, 1,400. And when those kids, when they reach grade seven, imagine the pressure which we, we get. So we've got a challenge in terms of high schools. Uh, in the area. Ubabu he, he retired. We went for his farewell, who was heading um, Mpopum High School. Good work from him. He used to cooperate very well with also the councillor when we bring students there with different various challenges. You would accept them. Not a school councillor, a school of Stamans and Ahamba, best chais, the Valley School to Ashes and Nin. But now speaking of the capacity that we could spend about 50 children in one classroom, how dealing with them if you have a water crisis, there's no water in Bola, how dealing with the schools when there's no water? Yeah, good. One uh, advantage which we, 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 we have as in Popoma, uh, when we saw that we are faced with this sometime in 2019, I would give a good example of um, Popham High School. The school head came to me and said, Councillor, there are two balls there, but they are council balls. We want to be given authority. Number one, the other ball would fix it, it services the residents, and the other ball services uh, the school. Done and dusted. They have no water problem. Similarly with the Gump, there is no water pro problem. You go to Nkuluman Prima, no water problem. Ball, I spoke about uh, the Apostolic uh, Church, which put... You go to Mpumelo, there is a, a, a ball. You go to Mseten. So all my schools within, they are equipped with the balls. In terms of water crisis, they are well catered for. Mm -hmm. And the problem facing young people across Bulayo, if you go in every ward, is just alcohol and substance abuse. Mm -hmm. How dealing with this in your ward? You can call for and so on, saying, how do you deal with that for young people? Yeah, we, we have tried our best. Number one, our major focus has been schools. Because we saw it that this thing is spilled into schools, right? There is a program which we are running with Hokik and also Church of Later Day Saints. Actually, the plans to put a drug rehabilitation center was now at an, was, was at an advanced stage before my last recall in 2020. You see, donors come and if they are frustrated, they go. But we are planning to resuscitate that. You, you will note that the issue of, um, of, of, of drug abuse, what fuels that, number one, is the, the situation at home. I want to start with there. There are abuses which are happening at home. And Umdu said to forget those problems, decides to get into drugs, right? Second, there's the issue of peer group pressure. You see, buying an abandona and they end up getting into, in, into. Thirdly, you'd find that the issue of unemployment, you see, what you expect, you have got nothing to do. You see, the only thing you think would in a children tag you into was suspect. But what we have done of late, we have done um, uh, interfaces uh, with the with the with school children first. Interfaces we have done it once only. We are planning also to do it because we are saying our 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 priority now are schools because we have seen kids being affected even from primary to then from schools we then go to uh, the community. You see, we are bringing people to come and educate these people on the dangers of, 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 of drug abuse. At the same time, in funerals, I always speak about it. I always speak about it. Last Saturday, I was invited, I was a guest speaker at uh, one of the church in Machobane, uh, Machobane Hall there, and there was a youth conference there. I spoke at length uh, about drug abuse. I spoke at length about good grooming. Uh, I spoke at length on how to be a, a successful young person and accomplish a, a young person. So we are trying our best as community leaders to make sure that um, we, 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 we educate 
our 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 youths about not only our youths if another dollar they are, it's affecting them you see we are told them tell i was killing in jengo so we use this gathering especially funerals you see to talk to them about uh, the dangers of uh, drug abuse mm -hmm. guys if you're just joining us today we're coming live from what nine uh, we cancel our tools and telling us more about his what and developments that he's going to do in what nine now can us reflect on the issue of uh, refuge collection roads the state of our roads issues of our lighting our tower lights how the state of our tower lights our roads and also our refuge collection are people adhering to the cleanup campaigns that you guys have been spearheading yeah they are adhering to the cleanup campaigns but but i must start raising on critical things which you have about tower lights i was shocked one day i haven't seen the report we are yet to see the report because the town clerk was raising zesa now is planning to put meters on our tower lights you see so we are yet to see that report from our director. Uh, it, will, it will come, I sit in the engineering committee, to say, ah, but Zesa, this is uh, ridiculous. Meter, uh, to, to juice, or, because the, these toilets are owned by city council. So for the toilet to be, to be functioning, it should be juiced. You should buy electricity to, to make sure that we light our, our area. And I said, no, 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 certain engagements have to be done. Honestly speaking, as a nation, we can't, uh, we can't, we can't reach that far, you see. Whereby tower lights, you know, tower lights, they play a pivotal role in the community. Uh, you know, they actually minimize the issue of muggings, robberies, because when the lights are there and, you know, some people are shy of lights to conduct their criminal activities, uh, all, all those things. You see, we have had situations where people would lose their lives because that tower light is not, uh, is not working, you see, and the thieves, uh, robbers, take advantage of that. So this issue of, uh, we haven't reported to residents because that report has not officially come to council. I only heard it, but I know that's what this is, is planning to do. And when it comes, then we will then tackle it at that, at that stage. Then uh, the issue of uh, refuse collection. Refuse collection, I, I must thank, I must be very appreciative to the executive of Bloy Progressive Resident Association, in particular in one nine. It's headed by Ubaba Ustanzilas Dube, deputized by Ubaba Khadeb. There is a sector for environment uh, by the name Ubaba Moyo Usazi. That man is doing a splendid job. He, every Friday he walks around the world to check whether uh, refuse has been what has been collected. In areas where refuse has not been collected, he quickly alerts me. Then I, I let the responsible department say, no, 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 follow up on this driver, this area. But we have managed to, 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 to be very effective in that with the able leadership of this uh, residency association, we are helping the office of the councillor to discharge his duties effectively. Those are critical, yeah. um, critical uh, 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 areas. And, uh, I'm, I'm actually uh, more concerned about this thing which I heard about tower lights. Honestly, go blow a spill on our own So I know we'll make some engagements. I know with our able executive at council, we'll be able to make meaningful engagements with this to, to stop that. Yeah. Council, I'm visiting your ward in Ward 9 today. What are some of the great monuments I can go and see? You say, if I'm in Ward 9, I can go and see this stadium, I can go and see this wall. What are some of the great monuments that are found in Ward 9? Yeah, you, if, you, if you go to Mpopoma Park, right? Uh, Mpopoma Park, they call it Nketa Park, you see. Uh, they, the council has tried its level best to resuscitate here in the infrastructure, but our major goal this year. Actually, we have uh, had donors putting pressure now, uh, headed by Obaba Uchisiri Moon. They want to resuscitate the Mpopoma Park train. You see. So we, they've come, we have inspected uh, the, the, the train and what it needs. And I'm quite positive that uh, somewhere, somehow, we are going to, to make a breakthrough in that area. Because that thing. Uh, 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 the Mpopoma Park train is, is, is very, 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 very key in this. It refreshes, it reminds us of the yesteryears. And if we bring it live now, it will actually trigger what Mpopoma used to be in the yesteryears. Again, if you look at Inyatu Youth Center, you got the marimba is being played. We've got these youth guys who come, Bambelela, Atsi, what, they come there. But in our word retention, we have said, let's rehabilitate Inyati Youth Center. 
you see. Let's make it modern. You have seen what they have done to the craft, home craft industry at uh, Mzirigas there, and what they've done at Mabutuen Hall. We, we want this thing to be a state of art, because it's, it's, it's a center for the youths, for culture and everything, you see. So these are some of the, of the key the, uh, uh, things where we say, if you can't to come to Popo, you come around to here, you will see people playing marimba there, <laughs> you see. You go to Popo Park, you see, there is that train, of course, still locked, and uh, we want to put back, you know, you see, you will see children coming to, 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 to visit, to see that uh, this is what we want to, 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 to bring now. To put Mpopo where it was in the past 30 years, you see, when we were still kids. Yeah, that's uh, our, our vision. Mm -hmm. I don't know spoke about the state of roads, actually, mm -hmm. in your heart. How's the state of roads in your heart? Yeah, the roads um, are very bad. They are very bad. They have passed through their heydays. And uh, because of financial constraints, we are finding it difficult to make sure that these roads are brought back to, 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 to shape. You will note that the city's road infrastructure requires about $700 million to put it back. But uh, I've noted some notable progresses, which I, I feel or I think it will then spill towards, right? When we separated the engineering department, now we've got a director who is specifically dealing with roads. You will note um, that there are some certain roads now which are being done very well. And uh, we are trying to push that when devolution funds come, right? At least you do two roads per what? Per year, if resource permits, through our devolution funds. We want to lobby that as policymakers to make sure that maybe the, the major highways in the Lapokamba, Kwadimchova, London, you see, those are the areas we need to start with, especially in Ward 9. Yeah. There are famous industries, you know what, one of them is called a spam, spam again, mm -hmm. industrial site where people do different finishes. How are these areas benefiting your, your work in terms of revenue creation? Yeah, you, you know, East Palm Brig in, is, uh, the, 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 there are mixed feelings about East Palm Brig. Number one, there's been a major cry that the people, most of them were there, they don't come from Popoma. And people from Popoma are actually complaining to say, you can't have a person from Pumula coming here. But in terms of, of, of assisting uh, the community, um, uh, people buy their wardrobes, um, sofa, various uh, furnitures, they get it there, you see. And the one thing which I appreciate about is Pam Brigi, uh, 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 some people are earning a living from there in this environment which we are in. Families are being fed from from Espan Brigin. This is why with the Minister of SMEs at one point in time, we said, no, 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 Spam must be a fully fledged industry and that a site must be, a bigger site must be availed for Espan you see, so that these people can then operate in a very, very, you will see now that they are even encroaching into the park, you see. Uh, because everyone is going there uh, to 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 kanda kanda to 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 earn a living. But it uh, as the community, the community is benefiting. Those who are from Popoma, you see, there are some who are besides the Bonamba who is from Popoma, who are actually earning their living from there. You see, and also the community. We are repay so far ago. You don't need to go to town. You just take your sofa there. So the heaven's palm brick here is a very positive um, uh, thing, though it is supposed to be an industrial uh, 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 hub or an industrial uh, project which must be uh, uh, be based at the industries there. And one of the key things which we noted is that uh, the reason why these people are there it is because it is proximity to the road. You see. That's how they can market their things, and you put them in the back of beyond there. No one would know that they are behind Dave's granite there. So this is one of the key things they have come and pleaded with those of the cancer to say. This in terms of marketing, you see, we can't be moved here because honestly we will die. Very few people will see us, you see. So we are very conscious about those things and the... And uh, we will try to assist them in that regard. So what we then agreed is that we need to downsize the population, you see, and leave some there and some are located somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, Councillor, lastly, as we wrap up the show this morning, speaking of making a living, how many community workers are employed under this ward? And uh, how many females are there? How many young people are there? How many males are there? Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, actually, you know, it's 10. Per, like sweepers, you employ 10. And sweepers, you employ them on, on three-month basis. But drain, drain clearing is done once a year. Yeah, and drain clearing, there are two groups, 10-10. Then um, there is a um, grass cutting. It's done once a year, only with a group of 10. So what we normally do is we try to balance. How do we balance this? We, need, we make sure that uh, uh, the sweepers, it's a light job. That's where we put senior citizens in there. You see, it would be a paper. Then the other uh, areas like drain clearing, umtute chai for sholo, and guslash, it means ama youth. But we have tried to be very conscious also to cater for people who are living with special needs to be included in this. You see, senior citizens, they are all in this. child dated families, they are all in this. In this so that, that somehow, yes, it's not enough, but they can, they can benefit. So you find that maybe a year, we employ, overall, we employ about 70 to 80 people a year. You see, yeah. One of the major being, you know, lay um, um, uh, AMS sweepers, where on three months, sometimes you are forced to renew to six months because it, it, it's not enough. For example, you, they were getting this C RTGS. Now it's converted to ZIG, they used to get $80, it's down to $41. You see. So you'll find that sometimes I just need to extend with another additional three months. So we, 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 we normally uh, uh, take into consideration the people who are at need at that particular time. Those people who are vulnerable, those are the people we fit in the, in those um, uh, uh, projects which do. Yes, road patching, uh, since I assumed the office, it has never been done in Popoma. But previous council used to um, get community groups to do road patching in the, in the world. I think this is the big, because of the issue of resources. You see, uh, our coffers are ailing. Yeah, so I think that is what has halted the project to be happening on a yearly basis. So in closing, what can you say to people from what nine? I know there are many children that are facing issue of water. People are like, no, where do you get water? Issue of roads, as you mm -hmm. said, issue of drug and alcohol abuse. What can you say to them? Again, issue of payment of bills. Some are not paying their bills on time. Mm -hmm. What can you say to them? Speak to them. They yeah. What I can say to the residents of Popma is that, uh, yes, we are here and we work very closely. These are the masters of, of this great world. These are the masters of Abbasniga direction. And we work to the best of our ability to make sure that they get quality services. They are well catered for. They are, they are raised even at council and they see evidence that the councillor is raising these critical issues, like what you know, that the councillor acts as a bridge between council and the residents. So yes, we have got these challenges, but we'll try to the best of our ability to make sure that in water challenges, you see, we try to minimize by making sure that there is a ball which service a certain group of people in an area. That one, we we'll promise it has started. We have made strides in that regard. The issue of roads, this is what we are pushing. When devolution funds come, uh, we, we will actually push with import at least when even one road. One road, it will be, if we pay, it's enough, you see. Then coming to the issue of the water retention. We have said, because we have agreed with the residents of Mpopoma, the proposal was sent that we need Inya to the center to be refurbished. We need the sporting facilities of Inya Center to be refurbished. And together, I know, we'll make it with the residents. They are listening residents. They love their council. And one thing I always speak with them, even who council, even in our community feedback, to let's pay our bills. Even if the money is not enough, even if you've got a dollar, we want you can come and pay a dollar. It makes a difference. Thank you very much. Councilor, thanks so much for warmly welcome, welcoming us to What9. Thanks so much for, the, for your time this morning, my brother. Well, you've been watching The Breakfast Club, coming live from What9 with Councilor Johnson Mabuto there, telling us more about his what and his plans for the future in terms of developing this what. Hope you guys enjoy the show and please do pass your comments and your feedback. You're coming to your what next. Hope you enjoy the show and also wait for us to come to your what. Pass your comments via DMs, pass your comments via different platforms that we have aside. Hope you guys enjoy the show. For myself, Brighton, it's bye for now.